Our quest for cheap AI PC continues. So picture this, a little silver box about the size of a Mac Mini. You plug it in, hook it up to a monitor and that's it. No tower, no tangle of cables, no power brick the size of a brick. But inside, 128 GB of ultra fast RAM, a brand new AMD chip with a dedicated AI brain and the ability to run some of the biggest 70 billion plus AI models out there, completely offline and local. No internet needed, no cloud bill, no NVIDIA GPU. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if this is the first time as that helps a lot. So what exactly has happened? This new system is B-Link GTR 9 Pro as you can see on your screen and I will drop the link in video's description. And honestly, I didn't think something like this would exist this soon. Now B-Link isn't a household name. They are not Apple, they are not Dell. They are the kind of company you find when you are deep in the mini PC rabbit hole looking for something compact, quiet, and maybe a little over-engineered. But this, the GTR 9 Pro isn't just another tiny desktop. Just under $2,000, it's their most ambitious machine yet. And it's aiming straight at one of the biggest problems in AI today, which is access. Because right now, if you want to run a serious AI model locally, like a 70 billion plus parameter B, such as Llama 3 or DeepSeek or you know, there are heaps of them now, you basically have two options. One, rent time on a cloud server, which gets expensive fast. Two, build a monster PC with a high-end NVIDIA GPU. And good luck finding one that doesn't cost less than $3,000 or draw more power than a microwave. That's the gate NVIDIA has built, not just through hardware, but through software CUDA their ecosystem, their drivers, their tools. If you want to run AI smoothly, especially on Linux, you are basically expected to buy their stuff. And that's fine until it isn't. Until you want privacy, until you want control, until you realize you shouldn't need a data center in your own living room just to experiment with open models and that, of course, there is a price, there is a lock-in. Then we have AMD. And this chip, the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, this is quite cool. It's part of their new Strikes Hello lineup, a monster APU that packs a 16 core Zen 5 CPU, a Radeon 8060S iGPU based on RDNA 3.5, and a dedicated NPU using XD, <coughs> XDNA2 architecture. Together, they claim 126 tops of AI performance, and while that number is total system, CPU plus GPU plus NPU, the NPU alone delivers 50 tops, which on paper is serious business. But the real star here is the memory, 128 GPU of LPDDR5X8000, that's not just a lot, it's fast, it's unified, means that the CPU, GPU and NPU all share it. No copying data back and forth, no VRAM bottleneck, and because it's all one pool, up to 96 GB of that RAM, it can be used as VRAM for the GPU. That's what lets this thing run 70 billion plus models locally, fully without heavy quantization, without swapping to disk. And that's huge. You can't do that on a 24 GB RTX 4090 without cutting corners. But here, it just works, assuming the software lets it, of course, and that's a catch. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video before I show you the specs of this in more detail. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks, and you will find their link in the video's description. Now, if you look at it right now, AMD's Rockham software stack, their answer to CUDA is still a mess on this hardware, especially on Linux. And we have to be fair here. Users are reporting crashes, memory allocation failures, and inconsistent performance. The NPU, almost no mainstream tool uses it. Llama.cpp, the go-to for local LLMs, mostly runs on 
Vulkan which only taps the iGPU. So you're not getting 126 tops, you're getting maybe half of that if you're lucky at this point in time as we speak. There are workarounds, of course. People are using the Rocks, Rockham, Nightly's, or Kaizu's toolboxes and getting better results. But this isn't just plug and play. This is a tinkerer territory. You are not buying this because it's easy. You are buying it because you believe in the idea of open local private AI, not locked behind Nvidia's ecosystem. This table tells the real story. It's not about raw power. It's about integration. This isn't just a gaming ring, it's a platform. The APU handles compute, the iGPU handles graphics, and some AI, the NPU handles dedicated AI tasks when supported, and all of it shares that massive 128 GB memory pool. The dual 10 GBE ports mean you can link multiple units together into a private AI cluster. USB 4 lets you hook up fast storage or even an external GPU. Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth, Quad 8K output, it's a full workstation in a box, in my opinion. And it is quiet. B-Link uses a vapor chamber, dual turbine fans and their MSC2 cooling system to sustain 140 watt under load and still run at just 32 dB, which is quite good. That's a whisper quiet too, by the way. Uh, in real world use, it's barely noticeable. Now, is it faster than RTX 4090 from NVIDIA? Not even close in raw and front speed. But speed isn't the only metric here. Efficiency matters. And if you're able to run it locally cheaply, why not? Privacy matters. Power draw matters. This thing sips power compared to a 450 watt GPU. And pe for people who want to run AI models locally, that's a big deal in my opinion. So who is this for? Not the average user, not someone who just wants to chat with a local AI. For that, a cheaper setup with a used NVIDIA card still makes more sense. But if you're a developer, a tinkerer, or someone who cares about control, this is fascinating. It's a compact, efficient system that can run massive models without relying on the cloud. It's a proof that there is another path, one where AI doesn't have to mean NVIDIA. And that's the real story here. The GTR 9 Pro isn't going to break nvidia's monopoly overnight but it is a signal a sign that the walls are starting to crack that there are alternatives that you don't need a 5000 bill to run serious ai workloads it's early the software isn't there yet the ecosystem is thin but it works enough to show that the future of local ai might not be in a tower under your desk it might be in a little silver box the size of a mac mini and honestly, I'm glad it exists. I just want more and more options because that's what brings the prices down. Let me know what do you think. Like the video, subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.